if you are not able to pass the test of homogeneity of variance, or if the residuals are not normally distributed, then there is a non-parametric alternative to ANOVA for a single factor ANOVA, and that is called the Kruskal-Wallis test. Carrying out a Kruskal-Wallis test uses a very similar format to the other functions that we've seen for analyzing stats. You say Kruskal.test, and then you pass in the dependent and independent variables with the tilde in between them. If they are not specified as vectors or as particular columns, if you just give the column names, then you can also specify the data frame as we have seen for other functions. If I had decided that I was not comfortable with the amount of deviation in the variance or if something else had gone wrong, I could run the Kruskal wallace test. That's the non-parametric test on the data. And because it's a non-parametric test, I don't need to use the log transform data. I can just use the raw values. The setup for it is pretty much the same as how we set up the linear model, except that we the function is called Kruskal.test. Let's run the test. And the results are that there are highly significant differences among the color. The p-value is 3 times 10 to the minus 8. If we compare that to the result of our original ANOVA, the ANOVA gave a value of 4 times 10 to the minus 10. So this goes to show that the parametric test is a lot more powerful if we're able to use it. In this case, it didn't really matter whether we used the parametric test and got a p-value of 10 to the minus 10 or the non-parametric test and got a value of p of 10 to the minus 8. In either case, there were highly significant differences between the roach's sensitivity to the three different colors of light.